Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode with me, your host, Snazzy, and today I am standing inside of our observatory that we built last episode, and I've done an interior. Aren't you guys so proud of me? Then we have so many cool things. We have the actual like, observatory outpost here, and we have a villager in here already. We have a bunch of globe floors and some uh, areas. I'm probably just going to knock this out because uh, I don't really need to have an extra whoop oh broke too much i don't need to have an extra uh lookout guy anymore because i mean you don't really need that many cartographers uh let's put this floor back here uh we have this downstairs when we have an overview of our city and all of the builds that we've done and i've also found out this cool thing where it's like if you if you move you, you see that like it gets darker and lighter if i like i don't know that's weird but anyway this looks so cool like just amazing. I can't wait to get rid of this centipede looking thing <laughs> uh, and get the rest of the villagers in here. Uh, so I have three interiors done. Let's go take a look at the bottom floor here real quick. The bottom floor here obviously being done as well. We have some paintings and also I'm going to get rid of this as well uh, and I'll fill that in. Uh, we do want to keep this though. It's like a little stand for our painting. I think it's gorgeous. It's amazing. We have this guy. We have this guy. We have all of the cartographers we need. But wait, there's more. We also have the mason's place all done and dusted. Let's come inside here. We don't have villagers in here just yet. I'm still in the process of moving them. But look at this. This place is all kinds of masonry. And they even have a little tribute to themselves. You know, masons like to work with stone. And so they have a stone villager that they've constructed. We're also going to have a way to get to the top there. And we have a way to get out here and stand on a balcony and just overlook the city. It looks so good. Oh, I'm in love with this place. But wait, there's even more. I did the interior of the textile mill here. This is where the shepherds live. And obviously, as shepherds, we're going to have all different kinds of wool. We're going to have some nice uh, paintings everywhere. Inside here is where all of our villagers are going to sit. Uh, and they'll be able to sell uh, all the different kinds of wool and string and everything. And then up here, we have some nice textile storage space. We have some paintings and also some more textile storage space up here. And also this nice little design on either end here. I just think it just kind of helps tie this place together. It really feels so cool in here. Like I, No words, ladies and gentlemen. No words. At the top of the bell tower here, and I mean, this place is one of my most favorite builds I've ever done, ever. Like, it just looks so cool. But we're not going to be working here today, no sir. Today, I outputted a tutorial on a sniffer farm that I built, and I'm, I hope you guys have watched it, enjoyed it, and also uh, use it, you know? But that's what, it's, that's what the tutorial's for. But I'm going to be using it today, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to build an industrial sniffer farm. Yes, these guys are going into an 11 by 11 area. Oh, they got some seeds for me here. These guys are going to be going into a sniffer farm for them. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, <laughs> yes, these guys are going to be going into an, uh, a bunch of different storage spaces, so we're going to have a, f a sniffer facility, and I just really have to map out where I want this. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have picked out an area, and that area is going to be right here, I think. So, yeah, right here is going to be our opening for this farm. And into the redstone testing world here, we'll see that the opening is going to be... So I'm actually probably going to shove this out just by a little bit so that we're not canoodling too much with our stairs. Uh, so this, the stairs probably will end up coming up to about here on this. And we'll be able to enter into this system here and it will be all nice and spiffy-like. And we need to clear out quite a big area, so we need to get... Each one of these is 9x9, nine nine, and then I also want to do a 3x3 three three walkway through here uh, that will be able to get to our sniffer egg incubator itself and also our seed storage. Just like that. Cool. Alright, let us um, let me clear out this area here, and let's see where we're at. This is going to be this is gonna be a long process. I, I brought some chests with me here. We'll be able to... Oh, 
I'm not a big fan of, like, I don't like that when you put a chest next to a chest, it doesn't connect if you're pl pressing shift. I mean, I guess that's... I, I, <laughs> a little bit of a progress update for you guys here. I am basically done excavating the chambers where all of the sniffers are going to go. And now I'm just in the process of getting rid of this dirt so that I can make the pathway that's going to go to our egg incubating, egg incubating station, which is going to be right here. And now we have a mess of iron here. I mean, it is just all over the place. I've decided to centralize the egg incubator, so it's going to be here. And our storage is going to be just over here somewhere, depending on how I run the lines. Um, but yeah, this place is really coming together. Now what's next to do is to actually make the sniffer egg incubator bit here, and then we can work out the rest of the stuff. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the farm is, uh, or the redstone for the incubator is all in place and I'm just enclosing it now so that no creepers wind up blowing it up because that would be very sad. So let me just do that real quick. And just like that, the box is enclosed and it's lit up. So no mobs are spawning in there. This redstone is safe. Next up, I have to figure out where my storage system is going for this thing. And I'm thinking that the storage system will go here. Hmm, maybe. So I have all of the rails in place and I'm currently working out the return system and the dropper system that will put the items into an item sorter which will then go here and here giving us the two separate seeds. But yeah, no, this place is really starting to come together. I mean, it looks like official and I mean, I have to obviously get more glass and put the, the grass in there and stuff like that. But I mean, man, I'm loving this place. This place is really starting to come together. I just have to figure out how I want to do the roof exactly because I'm, I'm still not super sure about that. I think that I have everything now hooked up. Here's the item sorters. Here is our return system here for our hopper cart for it to go back on its merry way. All of the powered rails here. The minecart should be able to make it all the way through. This is where our chests are going. I think we're all good. Let me just add some redstone and, and glass and see what happens. And now for the moment of truth, we're gonna put this there and let it roll around the corner. Uh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not a good start. Umph power. And it worked. All right, now it's off. Let's see what it does. Goes back and forth nicely. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm out of food. Beautiful. That will do all the work for us. He's gonna come back. This is so much fun. I really wish I could make it like transparent grass so that I could see my little hopper guy <laughs> going around. And then he's gonna come back out over here. That's so fun. All right, let me go get grass and let's fill in all these, these sections here. <laughs> it just looks mega. Holy cow. That's awesome. I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is I'm gonna wind up using a half slab roof um, here and flattening it out with stone bricks and then maybe filling in uh, some of the blanks here with some stone bricks as well. And then I can terraform on top of it like what's going on here to kind of make it look more ingrained into the terrain kind of, you know? So I think I'm gonna try that and if I don't like it, we can change it later. Okay, yeah, this place is really starting to come together. I really like that. So now all that's left to do is I don't want to move these villagers. I, I'm i going to try to go underneath them, but this is the tunnel where the sniffers that hatch are going to come up and over and then they're going to go into each individual chamber. I might drop them in in the corners here that way. Nope. One in so that we don't have to yeah, so I'm gonna drop them into the corners in this kind of fashion here. So there's just gonna be a tiny hole and that's where the baby sniffers are gonna drop in. And yeah, this is this is turning out really well. I'm, I'm 
I, I don't mean to keep patting myself on the back, but this is really turning out nicely. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh, no. I dropped, I dropped some villagers. Oh, oh, and it's getting, oh, oh, this is the worst. This is the worst. Oh, this, I just made such a mess. There are villagers everywhere, and I don't know where they ran off to. Ladies and gentlemen, I am putting on the finishing touches to our sniffer facility here, and it looks mega. Insanely mega. This has been such a fun project for me. This is so exciting. All I have left to do, ladies and gentlemen, is I gotta drop down in here, put doors in here so that the sniffers can't escape, and I have to do the item sorters for back here. Boom. So, yeah, all that's left to do now is to put doors in here and grab the sniffers and bring them in. Breed them up, put the first egg in the incubator, and let this thing go. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> They're so slow. Oh my goodness. All right. I'll see you guys next year. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're in. They're in. This is awesome. All right, let me go get the, I, I, I pre-made an egg just for this exact moment so that we can uh, passive mob. Oh, I got two eggs. Oh, yo. This is the best. Wow. And, and, and now it's just gonna sit there until it hatches. And then when it hatches, we theoretically should see a baby sniffer in this area. And let me go check the redstone real quick just to make sure everything's working properly. Two shovels. That's what I like to see. I'm gonna go get an even number of sniffers here. An egg. And this right here is going to be the overflow chest for anything that can't end up in here. Uh, so like eggs or if I wind up like dropping an item and for some reason the hopper minecart picks it up, it's just gonna go into that chest so it's not lost forever. Yep, one more shovel and the whole system resets. So let's go ahead and get to a good viewing point for this. It happened! It hatched! And there it goes! It fell into the thing! It all replaced, except that didn't change for some reason, which means I messed up some redstone. But, that's okay, we can work on that problem in a little bit. I really want to see... Did it fall into the redstone? For everything? Let me... Let me do some investigating. I fixed it! And there he comes! Look at his little feet! Do 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 do! Oh, he doesn't like turns. That's annoying. Oh, he's on- you know what? He's on the piston. Oh, how do I- No, no, not walk that way! <laughs> how- How do I rectify this? Unbelievable. You gotta be kidding me. Are you really trying to walk this way? I don't believe this. Always, 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 always double check your work in a, uh, in a creative world before you actually go ahead and put it in survival. That is the moral of the story today. Uh, I think I have this all working. I, I figured out a system that's going to individually turn off uh, modules here, but my concern really is going to be that the sniffer, baby sniffers, get stuck in between these things. So let me go and turn off the far right one. And let's see, I wanna make sure that these uh, colors correspond. Far right, so these have to, these have to get switched. All right, so let's go ahead and indicate that the far right one is on, which means that this one should be getting water to it. It is, and let's see, to make sure nothing else is getting powered it looks like it pulled just the one back here which is perfect this is exactly what we want so this whole system is currently off with the exception of that there we are and does that that's quasi powers it <laughs> all right let me let me workshop something okay 
Good deal. I switched it up a little bit. So now we only should have one module on. And that's seemingly the case. Alright, let me go get a sniffer egg. Got the sniffer egg, so let's go ahead and put it in the system. Good deal. Let's check that the system read that. So it has one more cracking stage until it hatches, and we should be able to see where this goes. I want to make it to the top over here just to watch, make sure that this sniffer is not even remotely getting stuck. So it just hatched, and let's see it come up through the water bubble vader here. There it is. Hello, little baby. Welcome. Rounds the corner. It theoretically should go past. So, something was going on with my timing circuit. It turns out that this repeater right here needs to be on no tick, or like one tick, instead of two ticks. So, it really- this is such a temperamental system. Oh my goodness. But, now it's working properly, and now I need to go figure out what the heck is going on with this guy. And how I'm supposed to go about with the creative solutions here. Because I'm still not 100% sure. Okay, finally, this should be the final test to make sure everything's working. I have that going in there, and that should have sent a signal to the back. Which it did, so now we have two shovels in here. And, no sniffer should get stuck anywhere, because I have a piston extender here to make it a flush with the wall thing. So no sniffer should be getting stuck in any of these corridors, and it should only go into here. Hopefully, and if it doesn't, I will blow this all up with TNT, I think. And this is showing correct. We have the red system activated at the moment. Or I guess technically disact deactivated, but you know, they're, the, they're gonna be filtering into the red corridor, which of course is this one right here uh, with our sniffers doing their wonderful sniffer things. We also should be seeing, and we are, a bunch of seeds piling into here. So we're, that's all well and good. Now it's just a matter of time to watch this thing crack. And there we have it. Breaks, falls, replay, replenishes itself, turns back into that. Fun. Oh, it's nighttime. It's alright, we'll deal with the nighttime just for now. I want to see this out sniffer boy coming through the system. Where is he at? Ouch, my face. Did he already fall through? No. Is he really stuck again? You're kidding. <laughs> Alright, where'd he get stuck at? For real? I couldn't even tell you where he's stuck. What? How? How is this even possible? Someone explain this to me. How does something just disappear into nothingness? He didn't die. He wouldn't have died that fast. Alright, the game's playing with me now. This game is playing with me, and I'm not a fan. Alright, try one more time. Jeez Louise. Alright, this time I'm gonna be able to see exactly where this thing goes. Because... For me, it just disappeared into the stupid void. And... That's a little bit ridiculous. That shouldn't be happening. Alright, here we go. So it breaks, this thing falls, it's swimming, it's going, it's having a time. Goes up, comes back down, goes into the bubble column, gets pulled this way, up, and over. He's going, he's having a grand old time, he's swimming, he's jumping, he's kicking, he goes, he stops. Why does he stop? He's going, he goes back up. He's coming along. There's no way to enter. There's no, he tries to swim back. He doesn't like where he's heading. And he falls. This system is finally complete. And it took so long to do all this. <sighs> Let's take a flyby and see what it looks like from the air. Still looks pretty neat. It's just this giant facility. 
and I only have one one module filled. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I know this was all over the place. I know this took forever. I'm sorry. It was not my intention for this to take 30 years, but we're, we're, we hit the end. We, we did it. It was painful. We got it done. Thanks you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Snazzy, and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Good. Bye.